Yes, we are back. Episode 96, 100 Simple Life Proofs. This is a fitting episode for a fitting day. Shout out to my Rams. It is October 25th. It is 4.19 p.m. We are here. The Rams are there. Um, Shout out to the Rams, though. Shout out to my team. As I can see the title of this one is uh, Who Holds the Key to Your Happiness? The Rams. The Rams hold the key to my happiness. And shout out to Jared Verse, our rook, defensive rookie. Shout out to um, Whittington. Shout out to Puka Nakua, of course. Shout out to Cooper Cup. Shout out to Matthew Stafford. Shout out to Sean McVay. Shout out to the team. Shout out to the squad. But I'm not going to make this too big on sports. I'm not going to make this too big on sports because I know a lot of y'all are not Rams fans. <laughs> Sucks to be y'all, but we here though. Shout out to my team. Um, we in monk mode. I'm still in monk mode. I'm still thriving. I'm still trying to make it to the end of this year. I'm still thriving. I'm still outside. Light this candle. I'm in a great mood today. I'm in a great, great mood today. Um, yeah, we're gonna get right into this. About to find out who holds the key to your happiness. About to find out. Before I get into this, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna just answer the question. You should hold the key to your own happiness. 100 percent You should be the one holding the key to your own happiness. That's it. That's all that matters. You shouldn't depend on anybody to be to make you happy. Once you're happy within yourself, everyone can just add on to it. And when they leave, they can't take anything from you. They can't take anything from you. And be be content, be happy with your own life. And yeah, hold your own hold the key to your own happiness. And we're gonna get right into it. No one holds the key to uh, to your happiness but you. That's it. End of the story. There's nothing else I need to say, there's nothing else you guys need to hear. But stick around to the end because I got something special for the end for the end of, the, of this episode. I know it can seem sometimes like others have the ability to make us feel amazing or dreadful or even in those instances, there are levels of permission only we can grant. And even in those instances, that's the level of permission only we can grant. Only we can let people make us happy, let people make us feel sad, dreadful. And if you don't want to feel that way and that's how they make you feel, follow what? Mm -hmm. Um, 100%. 100%. And ten percent, one hundred and ten percent. Uh, the world doesn't get to determine what makes you smile. If everyone wants to line up for a new iPhone, but you want to run barefoot through the grass with your niece, you can. Correct. Correct. Don't let anybody tell you what you deem. Mm, what you deem a good use of your time as not it. You know what I mean? You should be using your time to be getting happiness, getting to what it is that you want to do and making the best out of your time. If people want to waste their time or what you perceive as them wasting their time, let them do that, right? Don't let anybody tell you that what you're doing is wasting your time. There's plenty of people that tell me making these videos is wasting my time. They're never going to go nowhere. Uh, why are you doing it? Whatever the case may be. But these, doing these videos make me happy. You know what I mean? So I'm going to do it. I'm going to continue to do it as much as I can, as much as I want. And for the people that don't support me, that's on them. That's their problem. That's their loss. You know what I mean? And I'm not, they don't know the, the, the backstory to why I'm starting this, why I started this series. So, like I said, that's their problem. That's their problem. Just like if you have an opinion on what someone else is doing in their life, keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself because you're not you're not helping them and you're not hurting the, the people either, right? You you may feel like you're helping them or you may feel like you're just being hypocritical or not hypocritical. Um, you're being critical of their lifestyle, but then none of that matters, bro. Let them control their own happiness. You you control your own happiness. We sometimes take a path that seems to be the right path for us simply because we see so many others do the same thing. Yeah, don't compare your life to anyone else. 
when we walk down, but you can learn from other people's mistakes and you can learn from other people's um, accomplishments too. When we walk that path and don't feel the happiness that was advertised to us, we can find ourselves faking it or digging ourselves in even deeper. The reality is if we're not happy with what we have, we won't be happy with what we get, right? Got to be happy from the start and then go out and get more happiness, get more happiness. You got to be happy from within. Um, you cast no shadows when the light comes from you, right? When, the, when you are the light, you create the shadows, you create the darkness. It's all up to you. Make sure that you are the light within your life. Make sure you are the happiness within your life. Make sure you, the thing, you are happy regardless of the things and the people in your life. That you're going to be happy without your job. You're going to be happy. And of course, right? No one wants to hit rock bottom and be homeless or, you know, whatever the case may be. But finding happiness regardless is key, right? Finding contentment regardless is key. Of course, you want to stay on that ground, right? So that we don't have to, that we not, um, we don't end up homeless. We don't end up without no job, no money, right? Because of course, certain things we need. We need money. We need a house. We need transportation we need food right of course those things are things that we need but the things that we want if we don't get the things we want we should still maintain our happiness right because just because you don't get it in that moment that you sought out to get it is that you, you're still alive you still have opportunities to get it in the future and even within speaking of the future we still have to understand that we're living in the present and we have to remain fervent in the present because without the present there is no future right the past is what got us here and what gets us and what we are here gets us to the gets us to the future um the reality is if we're not happy with what we have we won't be happy with what we get the grass is always the grass will always seem greener on the other side because we really see as a reflection of our own envy envy is a dangerous thing envy is a dangerous dangerous thing I don't feel like uh I don't feel like um you should be envious or look at other people and see what they have. I mean, yeah, do it, right? See what other people have, see what's possible in the world and then go out and get it for yourself. Don't sit there and wallow like, oh, why should it be me? I want what he has, I need what, what she has, whatever the case may be. No, go and get it for yourself. You're just as capable as the next person. I promise you that if you put your mind to it, he who says he can and he who says he cannot are both are both correct. So just go out and get it. Go out and get the things that make you happy. Make sure that you understand what comes with the things that you want too. Like me, I want to buy a plane, right? That's going to make me happy. I'm happy now, right? I'm happy regardless of what happens every day on a day-to-day -day basis. When I clock in for work, I'm happy. When I clock out of work, I'm even happier, right? When I'm home, I'm happy. When I leave the house, I'm happy. No matter what happens in the day, I always end it in a happy, in a happy tone. So, um, understand what comes with the things that you want. That's gonna, what you feel is gonna make you happy, right? You may see someone driving a beautiful car, right? That you want, and you feel like that's gonna make you happy. But the minute you get it, it may not be what you want. It may not really serve the purpose that you expected it to serve so this is why i say i want i want the opportunity for certain things not not to actually have them like a pagani i said it in one of the other episodes can't remember which one but i said i want to i want a pagani right but i'll never buy one even if i had the money i i, I want just the option just the the resources to do the things that i want not necessarily saying i'm going to do them because once I get to that point, those things aren't really going to make me happy anymore because my mindset is going to change. Always be open to change. The more open to change you are, the more happier you can maintain, you can remain, right? Unhappiness exists when we forget the things we have to appreciate and focus on the things we don't have. Yeah, I feel like every so often we should take inventory on the things that are currently making us happy minus the things that we expect to make us happy in the future right because we can say oh i want this is going to make me happy but we don't know that right we don't know what the future holds we don't know 
how obtaining certain items or certain things or achieving certain goals is really going to make us feel. But we do know how the things that we already have make us feel. You should know how your how your car outside makes you feel. You should know how being able to come come home makes you feel. You should know how the clothes that you wear makes you feel. You should know how the people in your life make you feel, right? Excuse me, I'm about to sneeze. Or maybe not, because I mentioned it. But we should know how things make us feel, right? You should know how the food that you ate this morning made you feel, or the food that you're going to eat later, when you're eating it, you know it's making you happy. It tastes good. It makes you happy. Tomorrow, you don't know when you go, when you wake up and make breakfast, you don't know if that food is going to make you happy or not. You don't know if it's going to fill you up, right? You can hope for it. You can say, listen, I'm going to eat this tomorrow. It's going to fill me up. I'm going to continue on with my day. You don't know if that's going to happen, right? So being open to change and being open to new information and uh, adapting to that that change and that new information is what's going to keep us happier for the longest amount of time. And of course, happiness is fleeting, it's just like sadness is fleeting. All these all these emotions come and go. It's it's I don't want to say impossible to remain in one feeling eternally for eternity, but feelings change. Man, things happen. Things happen. Being open to change keeps us in a more positive mindset than, you know, if we're not open to change, we're not, we don't realize that, listen, today I might be up, tomorrow I might be down, but I still have me at the end of the day. I'm still content with me, right? The things that I have to say I'm up, right? Let's go money-wise. I may have a million dollars today, but I'm, I may lose it all tomorrow, but the money is not what's making me happy, right? And of course, it's easier said than done because we live in a world of comparison. Everyone compares themselves to what they see on social media and what they see, what their friends tell them. Because people, I'm gonna be honest, people be lying. People really be lying about what their life is, right? It it, it take it's rare for me personally. I've seen someone just be completely honest and be open and show you the books, show you what it is that they have, right? I know one person, and a lot of the people. They, they're just not honest. So comparing yourself to what other people display, comparing your backdoor success, your front, comparing your success to people's um, perceived success is a dangerous game. Happiness exists when we forget the things we have to appreciate and focus on the things we don't have or focus on how our realities don't match our fantasies. Fantasies don't end after a certain tax bracket. We'll always want more. And this is something that I emphasize so often. Excuse me. I emphasize this so, 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 so often. Your goal right now may be to make a million dollars. Once you make that million dollars, your goal is going to be to make five. So we're always going to have goals, right? We're always going to, some of these goals we're going to fall short on. Right, because I'm I'm fervent on setting goals and setting timelines. Right, some of these goals we may we may fall short on for the timeline that we created originally, but as long as we can continue on that path, the goal remains with us. We are the goal, right? Our goal is to remain us, right? So I may say I want to make a million dollars by the end of the year. I make I may make nine hundred thousand, right? Say that right? 900,000. I'm short 100,000, right? But then come, let's say, February, I may make 100,000 and then add on to the 900,000, I may make, become a millionaire by February. Do I wallow in the fact that I didn't make that goal by January? No, because I still completed the goal, right? We got we to gotta start giving ourselves grace. And with grace... I believe a lot of us need to stop comparing ourselves to other people's happiness, other people's goals, other people's achievements. Yes, it's something to strive for, but when you compare it to the person, when you when you when you're comparing yourself to the person and not the goal, that becomes an issue. Like I can say, okay, he made a two two different people made a million dollars, right? One person robbed robbed people and they schemed and they you know did illegal things to get the million dollars and, and he did it in a year, right? 
Another person, it took him five years to do it, but he did it legally. He did it the right way. And if the person that got it legally and the right way, they're not going to be flashy. They're not going to be showing off the money majority of the time, right? They're not going to be showing off the money. They're going to be humble with it and chill. But the person that did it nice, did it nice. The person that did it the bad way, so to speak, the illegal way, they're going to be flashy with it. They're going to be on social media posting the, the cars they buy. All right, they're going to be posting the cars they buy. They're going to be posting the vacations they take and all that stuff. And you're going to be envious of that person, not knowing that the person over here got the same thing in a long amount of time. And it's not going to be, it's it's not to compare someone's like getting it fast or getting it slow. It's to live your own journey. Embrace your own journey. Love your own journey. And don't worry about the outside influences. Don't worry about what this person is doing, what that person is doing. Yes, it's a thin line between um, being inspired by what someone is doing and being envious of what they're doing and wanting it for yourself, right? Envy is a thief of joy. Comparison is a thief of joy. Stop comparing yourself. Love yourself enough to go and get your stuff that you want. And it may take you some time. Like me, the goals, the goals that I got, they I know they're going to take time. But I'm here for the journey. The journey is the best part. Learning, living, failing is <laughs> it's part of the journey. When I say that to some people, they get uh they get spooked. Like, oh no, I don't want to fail. I don't I don't want to uh deal with the the sadness of failing. But listen, you only fail if you stop. You only fail if you stop. Right? If you say you want to become pilot. And you fail the test the first time, and you never take it again, you never study again, that's when you fail. Now, if you say you want to become a pilot, and you fail the test the first time, but you get back out there, you you start studying again, you start taking more, more flying lessons, and then you pass it on the second time, the third time, the fourth time, fifth time, that's when you, you succeed. You only fail if you stop. So don't stop. Just keep going for your goals. Reevaluate the situation and go get it. And I'm saying this because I know y'all going to fail. I guarantee 100% that y'all going to fail. You know why? Because I failed. And not saying because I failed that you guys are going to fail. It's just failing is, is the part of the game. It makes you better. It makes you come back 10 times stronger, 50 times stronger. It makes you more detailed in in, in your pursuit. It makes you makes you more detailed in your pursuit. It takes effort to be happy and to keep and to keep it up. But once you find that rhythm, you can share it with others and spread it like a germ. It's easier to it's easier to spread sadness than happiness. So be mindful of the people you have in your life. Be very mindful of the people you have in your life because it is very easy. It's easier to spread sadness than it is to spread happiness because people look for sorrow. People look for sadness people it's easier to be sad i don't know why i don't have the answers for that i'll find out for you guys but there it is 100 percent easier to be sad than it is to be happy i mean some a lot of people are afraid to be happy so they stay content they stay content with what they are um happiness is it takes effort to be happy it doesn't take much to be sad it doesn't take much to be sad, but it takes effort to actually be happy and to maintain that happiness. It takes effort to learn yourself. It takes effort to learn the universe. It takes effort to get up and go at it every day, right? It's easy to sit on the couch and not do anything, but think about it. There's not one single movie you've ever seen of a guy or a person just sitting on the couch doing absolutely nothing the whole movie. Because that, that's a sad life to live. Right. Um, so you got to get out there. It takes effort to be happy. It takes effort to be happy. It takes effort to be happy and to keep it up. So you need to go start. Start on that journey. And even if this is episode 96, if this is the first episode you've seen, go back to episode one and get in and, and, and pay attention to what it is. Pay attention. You're going to learn something from every episode. And even if the episodes you're going to learn from, right, you'll understand that 
there's um there's more out there. There's a lot more out there. I personally think that if you stay focused on your beliefs and your goals, you'll be fine. And I'm talking to myself, right? And you guys are listening. And you guys are learning. You guys are love. You guys are, are, are perfect, abundant. And for me, how I feel, right, is I feel like my goals are all time-based, right? There's nothing I can, it's plenty of things I can do right now, today. I can go out and do it right now, today, right? But my big goals are all time-based. I have to put the time in. I have to put my 10,000 hours in. I have to learn myself. I have to keep figuring things out every day. Learn a little bit more about myself every day. Put myself in situations where I have to learn myself. Pressure, pressure burst pipes, right? And the pain from putting myself in these situations to fail, any situations to learn, is the breaking of the shell that closes your understanding. Therefore, <laughs> let me stop. No, but it is the the uh. The pain is the breaking of the shell that encloses your understanding. It is the potion by which the physician within you heals your sick self. Therefore, therefore, that's the, that's the key part. Therefore, drink his remedy in silence and tranquility. It's going to be hard, right? But the more, the more zen like you are, they call me zen at work. Remember that. The more zen like you are, the more calm you are while while you're 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 in pain you're growing you're in pain but you're in a um hyperbolic time chamber where you're just locked in monk mode is the hyperbolic time chamber you're fully locked in nothing is distracting you it's painful because you're 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 growing at a at a crazy rate but you're just there and you're just letting it happen you're just letting it happen and the minute you open your eyes the minute you let everything out you're going to be unstoppable promise you i promise you You know why i promise you that because that's what i that's where i'm at right now that's where i'm at right now i'm i'm about i'm about seven days away from unstoppable and if i stay on this path that i'm on if i stay zen i keep breathing right breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out and the, the egg is still cracking the egg is still cracking the knowledge is still coming the the information is still coming, right? I'm out there every day taking losses. I come back, I write it down, figure it out. All right, this is what I could have did. And I go back, boom. All right, uh, I focused so much on a loss yesterday that the win from yesterday is now a loss, if that makes sense. All right, so it's like crossing the street, right? They tell you to look both ways for a reason. You could cross the street today and only look right all the, the whole time. Just look right. Just look right. And then get hit from the left. Right? Then the next time you cross the street, you're going to look from the left. You're going to look to the left the whole time. And you're looking left, you're looking left, you're looking left, and then you're going to get hit from the right. So this is why you got to look both ways, right? You take both lessons. Take both lessons. All right. I'm looking both ways. I'm crossing the street. I'm looking both ways. That way. You took that loss from getting hit right and kept that in your mind. You know not to do that again. You're gonna look right. And you took that that loss from hit from looking from getting hit left. Keep that in mind. So all the losses that you take, you gotta keep them in mind. But don't forget about the wins. Because a win can become a loss. A win can become a loss. If you focus too much on perfecting the losses. You forget about the past wins. I'm not sure this is making sense to you. I hope it's making sense. I hope this is making sense. Don't be so focused on your past your past losses that you forget about your past wins. You got to focus on both of them equally because your loss, your win can become a loss while your losses are becoming wins. Oof. Listen, happiness. And sadness can be both spread like a germ. Sadness spreads a lot easier. I'm going to be honest with you. Sadness spreads a lot easier. 
happiness, it takes effort to be happy. And it takes effort to maintain happiness. So put the effort in. Put the effort in. It's October 25th. We got two months left in a year. That's way more than enough time to make a difference in your life. In your life. In your personal life is way more than enough time to just make that difference. And to be better. To go into run straight into 2025. Unstoppable. A lot of people are going to wait into December. A lot of people are going to wait into January and be like, all right, this is my year. No, your year starts today. Your year starts whenever you want it to start. Your grind, your hustle. If you want to set resolutions and all of that, start it today. Why write it right? Why write a resolution and then start it a week later? No, you're supposed to close your eyes. Like I did this exercise, I can't remember what episode, but this is why y'all gotta watch them all. I did the episode, you close your eyes, figure out what it is that you want to do in life. You figure out what it is that you need to do to get to where you want to be in life. And you sit there and you think. And the minute it comes to your mind, you open your eyes, you get up and you go do it. Or you go, you take one step closer to going to do it. Don't sit there and be like, all right, next week I'm going to go do this, da, da, da. If you got to go make a call, make a call. If you got to go start studying and do the research, start studying and do the research. Don't say you're going to do it tomorrow. And it's crazy coming from me because I used to be the biggest procrastinator. If you call my mom, my family, they'll tell you, Yo, this motherfucker procrastinates. Excuse my language. I just curse. But I procrastin. I used to procrastinate crazy. Like I would be like, I'm gonna go do it. I just be sitting there. Like I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it right now and just sit there and just not do nothing, right? But this goes back into the wins becoming losses because I would be a procrastinator. But the minute I got up and got got to doing what I had to do, I would get it done, right? And then that's why I am as successful as I am today. I'm not like super successful or anything like that but i've i've had some success in my life i've had some wins in my life and when i get up and go put my mind to it and do what i gotta do i'm un- unstoppable only thing that my my bad habit was i would always procrastinate that's why i don't do that anymore once i come up with an idea i'm taking steps towards it it may not be big leaps and bounds but it's tiny steps that i need to do because of, like i said a lot of my goals are time-based i need time like the time has to come through i have to put in my ten thousand hours and as long as i do one hour a day two hours a day i'm getting closer it's the days that i don't put any hours in that's the problem every day one percent better that's that's what we hear if you're watching this and you haven't and you didn't get one percent better today turn it off and go get one percent better because this this content is not it's 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 for you. Like you're listening into you're listening to it. And I want you to actually take something from it, not just listen, just to listen. Like this is not I'm not here for your entertainment. I'm here for your growth. I'm here for your glory. I'm here for your rise. You know what I mean? And I'll be here when you fall too. So you could come back and watch this video and be like, you know what? I didn't fall. I didn't fall. What I did was I learned. And now I'm gonna keep going. You only fall, you only fail if you stop. Sometimes you got to stop tying your shoe and get back in there. It's okay to rest. You know what I mean? It's okay to rest. But as, if you don't get back up and continue on that goal, then you fail. Then you're a loser. So I'm here not for your entertainment. I'm not here for you to just be entertained and listen to my voice. No, go do something. Go create the life that you want. Go out there and get the things that you want, the things that you need. I'm doing it. Why are you not doing it? I'm sitting here, I'm taking 30 minutes out of my day to record it, right? And this is part of me getting 1% better because each one of these I do, each video I do, I get better at it. You know what I mean? It's something that I want to get better at and it's something that I'm actually taking the time to get better at. Do I do them every day? No. But I'm making, I'm getting 1% better than other things that I want to accomplish. I'm in school. I'm getting, I do my homework every day. I study every day. I think y'all get it. Y'all understand. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. This is the end of this video. I want y'all to get up there and, and go get it. Go get it. 1% better every single day. And if you can't get 1% better today, get 2% better tomorrow. It's, it's the constant thrive for greatness. 
Happiness is something that you need to work at to maintain. Sadness, you don't have to work at to maintain it. So stop wallowing in your own in your own um stop wallowing in your own sorrows and bask in your in your greatness, in your future greatness. I love y'all. I hope this I hope this was um good. <laughs> Not good in the sense of I hope y'all entertain because I don't want y'all to be entertained. I want y'all to be motivated. We out.